Now, if you're one of those WordPress users that's looking to transition away from using page builders like Elementor and you want to move over to Gutenberg, but you don't really like what it offers or doesn't kind of offer, then you probably looked at the block level plugins. Today, I'm going to give you eight of the top ones that I would recommend you take a look at for various different use cases in 2023. Now, there's most of these have free versions to give you the ability to test them out to get a good feeling. One or two only have a pro version. Now, we're going to start off with general generate blocks. This pairs up nicely with generate press as a good combination between theme and block level plugin. And at first glance, generate blocks looks very, very simple. And you may kind of just brush this to one side and think, ah, there's not enough in here for me. However, don't do that. I was kind of one of those people that I looked at this and thought, nah. But the more I've used it, the more I've kind of fell in love with it. Now, I use this on a lawful lot of projects. One of the things that I like is that A, they have a free version of Generate Press and Generate Blocks, so you can get started working with that combination, really get a feel for how it all works. But more importantly, if like me, you work with a lot of dynamic content, the free version of Generate Blocks gives you that ability. You can use the Loop Builder. There's an awful lot. Yes, there's still some things locked behind that pro paywall, but there's still more than enough to get an awful lot of work done using just the free version. So check out Generate Blocks. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised once you dive in. I've already created a couple of tutorials. And I'll link those in the description below so you can take a look at how you could harness what Generate Blocks brings to the table. Next on the list is Cadence Blocks. Now, I've been using Cadence Blocks on the WP Tuts website for probably about two and a half to three years, and they've recently released version 3.0. I did a video on that very recently, which again, I'll link in the description so you can check out that. But this has had a serious update in not only the way it looks, but also what's going on underneath the hood. So if you're looking for a very simple to use with plenty of features, then maybe Cadence Blocks is an option for you. However, if you want to work with that dynamic content, you are going to need the pro version. But again, testing out the free version, there's enough in there for most use cases and to really get your feet wet, understanding how it all works. It's fast to work with, it's easy to work with, and now with version 3.0, it's organized in a much more logical fashion and brings it in keeping with a lot of the other Gutenberg block level plugins or page builders you may have used in the past. So take a look at Cadence Blocks, check out the video I did recently and see if this is something you want to take a look at for yourself. Now, another block level plugin that I like and I use on the WP Tuts website alongside Cadence is Stackable. Now, I've got the pro version of this, but again, there's a free version and a pro version. This is currently going through some updates and there will be some interface changes. So if you are using something like Cadence or Generate Blocks or many of the other tools in this list, you're going to feel very, very familiar. One of the things that's very nice about working with Stackable is there's lots of starting points, kind of like pre-designed blocks that you can use and customize and tweak all inside the interface itself. So you can hit the ground running with some very nice looking starter layouts. And that goes into the design library and you've got full page layouts and block layouts, but right the way down to individual components. So if you want to work with those blocks and customize them, but with a great starting point, or you just want to hit the ground running with pre-designed ones that look great out of the box, maybe Stackable is one to check out. Now, if you've ever used the Astra theme or you've heard of Brainstorm Force, you probably know about Spectra. This is the rebuilt and reimagined version of essential add-ons for Gutenberg. There's only a free version available right now, at least in this video, but a pro version is coming out imminently. So this has no cost to it. They've recently released the Spectra WP theme, which is the full site editing theme, at which point you can use these in combination with each other. But one of the selling points of Spectra is that this will pick up your global settings from pretty much any theme you want to use. You're not tied into Astra or the new Spectra WP theme. So you can pull in those global colors. And then if you make changes in your theme, they'll reflect throughout everything you do inside Spectra. And again, Spectra has that really simple set of tools, but it opens up more than enough opportunities to be able to create fast loading Gutenberg block based websites that's going to be scalable and work very well. So if you want to check out Spectra, links in the description below, take a look at that. And you may be pleasantly surprised at what this offers if you want to just access a free tool. However, no dynamic content is supported out of the box yet. Again, I think this is going to be something that will come to the pro or premium version.
Now, next on our list is GreenShift. Now, GreenShift, again, has a free and a kind of modular approach to their premium packages. So if you want dynamic data, you can buy the dynamic data module. You want other things like animation, you can get the animation module, or you can buy all of them. However, the free version, again, has an abundance of options included in it. It uses CSS Grid and Flexbox, so you have all those modern technologies when it comes to layout and design. My only criticism of GreenShift is even the free version can be quite complex with the amount of options that you have in there. So if you are new to working with block-based plugins, maybe GreenShift has a bit of a steep learning curve that may put you off. So maybe start with some of the other ones to test out, and then when you can become more familiar with working with Gutenberg-based tools, then take a look at GreenShift. But again, the free version has an abundance of options in it. So even if you want to dive in head first, you can take a look at that. But like I say, if you want the more advanced features, the things like dynamic, animations, and so on, then you are going to have to take a look at those pro-based modules. But check out GreenShift because I think it is an interesting tool that is growing and picking up a lot of interest from Gutenberg users and also people that are transitioning from page builders and still want to have lots of those tools that they're used to, but using a more Gutenberg-centric approach. Now, I recently took Cubio, which is a relatively new block based plugin, for me anyway, for a spin. Put a video link in the description below so you can take a look at what I saw with this. But if, again, you are looking for a good starter point to work with creating Gutenberg-based layouts, then you may want to check out Cubio. There is a free version and a pro or premium version. This comes with plenty of starter designs for full sites and also different block-based elements. So you can hit the ground running, getting really, really quick WordPress sites up and running without spending a single penny. However, if you want to take a look at the more pro or premium version, then you can do that, and that will bring it a whole host of additional features. And this starts off at about £69 per site for a pro license. So it's not the cheapest. They do offer lifetime plans if you want to check those out. And again, they start at about £150. But obviously, there's going to be sales on. There's going to be different discounts, different prices. That's going to fluctuate. But check out Cubio because it might have what you're looking for. And again, if you want to see more about this, have a look at my video in the description down below. Next on our list is Maxi Blocks. Now, this has a slightly different approach. I tested this out briefly a couple of weeks ago, and I'll link to the video in the description below so you can see what my findings were and get a feel for how this all works. But the thing I like about this is, first of all, it's currently in beta. But this is free forever. They're not intending, from my understanding, to bring a paid version out. So what you get in there is not going to be crippled in any way. The nice thing about this is, while it's not necessarily the nicest looking interface to work with, it does have an awful lot going for it. For example, it's got over 700 free patterns, and these can be things like blocks, and it can be sort of full page designs, those types of things. And there's some really nice looking starter site design ideas on there and starter template ideas that you can tap into. It uses most of the modern technologies that you'd need when it comes to working with Gutenberg. And obviously, you're going to benefit from the fact that it is Gutenberg-based. And therefore, it should be lightning fast. And once you actually put your site out, you should get pretty good load times from that. So check out MaxiBlocks. Check out my video on that and see if this is something you want to try for yourself. And if you like that freemium model, then maybe this is the one for you to check out. Have a look at MaxiBlocks. Now, the final one on my list is Quickly. Now, Quickly is probably the most complex tool when it comes to working with Gutenberg in my list today. However, what this brings to the table is an incredible amount of power. First of all, it includes Advanced Custom Fields Pro in the actual license when you purchase this. So you have ACF Pro if you want to do that. So dynamic data is built in from the get-go, and you have everything you need to get up and run with it. It's got an advanced query builder. You can have filtering inside you. You know, if you want to take sort of the ad advanced kind of page builder style tool set, but you want to have it Gutenberg based, quickly has you covered there. Now, obviously, that comes with a relatively steep learning curve. The interface, in my opinion, while it's been improved considerably over the first one when I reviewed this probably about 18 months ago, it is still somewhat kind of complex to get around. There's a lot of options going on, and there are lots of things vying for your attention. But I think once you get past that, and you want to create those more powerful-based websites and tap into that whole optimization of Gutenberg, quickly is one you may want to check out for yourself. Again, I'll link this in the description below. There's no free version available for this, unfortunately. It's a pro-only option. However, it's priced relatively well. It's 
got tons and tons of features inside there and the fact you get ACF included in it I think is pretty solid and even the starting price of 49 euros gives you three websites unlike most of the other ones out there that give you one website so those are the eight individual plugins that I recommend checking out when you want to move over to working with Gutenberg. You've got all manner of different options from the simple options, from the free options to the pro and premium options and everything in between. Even if you have no budget whatsoever and you still want all the power, MaxiBlocks may be a perfect option, which is totally and utterly free. But as always, if you've come across any tools yourself, let me know in the comment section so I can check them out. And as always, I really do welcome your feedback. So let me know what you thought of this video. As always, all applicable links are in the description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.